Hey there, Sir William Monocle here with a continuation of uh, the last random video. And um, it ended with me just about to go through to the trash coast. And I skipped a bit at the beginning so it would be under 15 minutes. And all I was doing was fighting uh, uh, spider ants on the way uh, to my final, well not final, but to my nearly insurmountable challenge that is still as of yet a mystery so here oh I think this is the challenge It looks pretty challenging. Um, so yeah, taking some sniper shots at the eyes, and here I discover that the the eyes give you critical hit damage. So I'm I'm aiming for the eyes. Ooh, that's gross. I took its eye out. So here I go, still shooting, and this is one of the most uh, one of the more epic boss battles in Borderlands. Um, usually the bosses are like the boss you saw in the last one, where it's just like, you know, like a bandit or something. This is uh, an exceptionally epic boss. <laughs> this may be the most epic boss ever in a first-person shooter, really. And here I'm shooting at its eyes. Uh-oh. It decided to make it a bit more challenging for me uh, by launching out all these other rack, uh, which are like big scary flying things. And I'm just kind of shooting at him at this point. Um, not very accurately, but I was kind of freaking out, <laughs> to be honest. I didn't really uh, expect such a vicious challenge, or such a vicious looking challenge, really, it, it's not that tough of a boss. These guys are the hard part, I mean, the actual rack hive doesn't really do anything to hurt you. I thought those guys were still alive. And here I throw out Bloodwing again. And apparently the rack hive has uh, poison capsules he throws. Okay. Here I'm uh, switching to a rocket launcher because I want to do some heavy duty damage. Here I go. Took out another eye, but I'm standing in the poison. So, if, uh. Hopefully, me showing you a bit of Borderlands, if you haven't played it already. Um, will allow you to realize what a great game it is. Uh, so, if the videos, if uh, the last video and this one, if what you've seen so far tickles your fancy, then I hope you will uh, consider buying the game. It's pretty cheap on um, Steam to download. Um, I think you can get Borderlands uh, Game of the Year, which is the vanilla game and all the expansions for only like 30 bucks, uh, which is really good. I think it's only 20 if you just get the vanilla, or 15 or something, I don't know, you, you'll have to check. But, uh, yeah, here I am. Still haven't quite, in here I accidentally hit the wrong button and got ravaged by some rack, and here I finally got smart and I was like, oh yeah, uh, what do you use to shoot ducks when you're duck hunting? A shotgun. So I'll use my shotgun to shoot these big scary carnivorous ducks. And here I just used a healing kit. I tried to use another healing kit. You can only use uh, one healing kit at a time. Uh, you have to wait for the effects of the first one to wear off before you can use the second. And as you can see, the shotgun is much more effective versus these rack than the assault rifle 
or submachine gun. And here I demonstrate the uh, revive system here. As you can see, killing an enemy brings you back to life, which I, I like that, actually. Because it's kind of like, you know, getting revenge, all that. Uh, and here I got an achievement. I have no idea why or what I did to earn that achievement, or even what it means, to be honest. It's like, uh, <laughs> I don't know how you kill someone plumber style, uh, but whatever. So here, just about to take these guys out. Bang, bang, bang. Falls to the ground. And the rack hive is shooting more poison at me, so I'm going to hop off the ledge to get out of the way. Yeah, this is actually one video that I'm glad I didn't record uh, my voice live for. Because this this boss, looking back at it now, it doesn't seem all that difficult. But I was freaking out. Like, I was... Yeah, it was, it was pretty intense. And here, I have no idea why I didn't get my shotgun out again. But whatever. Because I didn't even cause any damage to those guys, but whatever. Here we go. Shotgun, shotgun, shot. This is a good shotgun too, because you it shoots pretty fast, it reloads pretty fast, and it's quite powerful. These rat can be pretty tough to combat, especially um, when you, you you don't always know where they're coming from, which is difficult. Just shooting like a madman. We got pretty frantic. And here I go down again. I'm not exactly sure why I went down. Shoot! I'm just desperately firing into the air. And here I killed that exploding rack. And I killed the rack hive. And if you look, my shotgun skill went up three levels. I went up a level and, uh... Yeah, I got like 47,000 experience points for that. That was an awesome leveling up boss thing. My, uh, yeah. So, I'm kind of glad that I killed it with a shotgun. Because I would have wasted a lot of that experience if I killed it with like a sniper rifle or something. Because I'm already at the max level uh, of sniper skill. And here I'm just collecting my loot. Collecting the loot. Well, right now it's just ammo. Actually, I don't really get anything good from this, to be honest. Um, the only real benefit to that boss was the experience. Usually you get, like, good items and stuff. I didn't really get any good weapons or shields or grenade mods or anything like that. So, but I mean, it was still fine. I mean, I got these weapons. Which, I mean, they were... They were okay but I mean I sold them so because they weren't as good as my other shotgun and you this is pretty gross I don't know how, exactly how this happened to be honest and here I was just looking at the weird wriggling organs I don't know how that happened because it's not like I blew the thing up unless it exploded when I wasn't watching, I don't know. Ooh, loot, loot, glorious loot. And I think one of the reasons I like Borderlands so much is um, it's it's like a the first person version of I don't know if any of you guys ever played the Game Boy Advance Lord of the Rings games. But I love those when I was younger. Uh, if I, um, I mean, every time we went on a road trip, I'd be playing Game Boy Lord of the Rings, and it was in a lot of way, a lot of ways, excuse me, very similar to Borderlands. Here I'm just uh, doing my skill tree, um, and as you can see, I'm pretty specialized in the sniper department. Um, 
but yeah, like the Lord of the Rings Game Boy games, it had a skill tree like that. You chose your character. They all had different specialities. Ooh, specialities. I said it in the British way in honor of the royal wedding. Um, you, in, in many ways, it was a loot collecting game, just like Borderlands. Uh, you would go around the better, the tougher the enemies you killed, the better loot you got, the more money you got, the better weapons you got. And, uh, I mean, uh, when I was, like, playing through the game as Aragorn, you'd, you'd find, uh, all these cool weapons, you'd sell the ones you didn't want, and, um, it's, it was like, ooh, that gave me a bit of a scare. I was expecting another boss, but, uh, he just flies away. Apparently they lost the will to fight. And here I was just checking the skyline because I didn't know if he'd come back and destroy me or something. But, um... Yeah. It's like Borderlands is the first-person shooter version of uh, what was my uh, favorite game back in the day. Um, and that's one of the reasons I think I like it so much. Because just this, this formula really appeals to me for some reason. <gasps> Picking up my money. Yeah, and here is the uh, another piece of the puzzle. And if those of you aren't familiar, or those of you who aren't familiar with the Borderlands story, uh, the game, the premise of the game is that you are a mercenary who's come to this planet, Pandora, in search of the legendary vault. And in the vault are treasures untold. And uh, the piece that I just picked up is a piece of the key to the vault. It's... Admittedly, it's not a great story. It's not all that riveting. But uh, the gameplay makes up for it a thousand times over. Here, I skipped a bit. Um, because I didn't think you wanted to see me run all the way back. I skipped a bit. That was my, uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. what's it called? Instant quick travel. Here I was trying to jump over the fence, and I failed. Uh, that, yeah, I just quick, you can quick travel from outposts, uh, so you don't have to walk or drive. Um, and here I'm getting in the vehicle. It's not going to be a very long vehicle phase. I'm just taking this piece back to um, Tanis, which is a scientist here on Pandora who's helping me put the pieces together for the key. So, yeah. There I am, hopping out of the thingy there. Yeah. I mean... Uh, I, I really like the gameplay on Borderlands. When you're in the middle of a, a battle like that, like you saw the epic boss battle, it was just, you know, it was pretty awesome. And I really enjoyed it, but then there are other sequences where you're just kind of running places, like you see here. And while they keep it interesting with lots of enemies, sometimes it does get pretty annoying. Um... But I'm usually not bored when I play Borderlands. Um, because, yeah, I'll admit, I don't always like just kind of going so far on foot. Uh, and you do spend a lot of time walking on foot. But, um... It's, it's interesting enough that you don't get overly bored. Uh, of course, it's not everyone's cup of tea. Um, I know a lot of people who, well, I say a lot of people, <laughs> I know a guy who, um, works for screwattack.com, he reviews games for them, and he hates Borderlands, he can't play it, I think he gets bored easily, probably. Um, here, I just completed the mission, and I'm accepting this new mission. And uh, that's the end of this video. So if you guys like what you saw, go ahead and pick up Borderlands. Uh, 